How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Busk in the ambience. Busk, not busk. <laughs> New office, huh? Is is it not fabulous? Let me know if you want a, a room tour and a setup um, video. I don't know, leave a like or something. This is Bob. Bob is gonna be displaying the merch, aren't you, Bob? I hate my existence. Ah, you'll get over it. Loss. Morning. And I'm not talking about those sunny mornings you wake up on. I mean morning as in mourning the loss of a loved one. We each mourn in our own unique ways. Some cry, some even laugh. I don't laugh for dead people, by the way. Others, however, have their husbands cremated and eat them. Yep. <laughs> this video is called Meet the Woman Addicted to Eating Her Husband's Ashes. It's another My Strange Addictions from the My Strange Addiction series. You guys love these. I can't believe, um, that this title actually exists. I don't even know what ashes would taste like. I once ate a whole marble. Shut up, Bob. With you and Linda, I can't. Let's watch the video. My name is Casey. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. It's always Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee. I love Tennessee, but these strange addictions always seem to come out of Tennessee. And I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. No, no, that, see, that wasn't in the title, all right? You weren't, it, the title wasn't Woman Can't Stop Carrying Box of Dead Husband. It was that she was eating him. Maybe we'll get to that bit in a minute. Or maybe this is just clickbait. I take my husband everywhere. To the grocery store. Shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's neat. Yeah. I've heard of this. I've actually seen it as well. It's just very, very sad, you know? I feel so bad for people who've lost their loved ones and just can't seem to let go. To the movies. Out to eat. I wonder if she has to pay a ticket. Are they that cruel? Is Hollywood making money out of cremated ashes? Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. Night, baby, I love you. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. Uh, I was gonna say that putting the seatbelt around him doesn't really matter, but buying food that he likes? Man. Maybe it's part of, like, routine, you know? This was my routine for so many years. I did this, I did this, and it, it just makes it feel like he's alive, but you have to let go. You can't just keep buying him lettuce. I really hope she's not putting lettuce in the box. I cook. I cook what he likes. I don't eat it. He liked that? That burger looks white. How'd you make a burger look white? I'm pretty sure he was lying to you. But I cook for him. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. Jesus, Bob! Can you believe this? All of Dad's merch is amazing. Well done. I'm not paying him to say that. If somebody says, hey, who is that? I'm like, oh, this is my husband. Some people laugh. They think I'm playing. But, it, I mean, it's serious. It's my husband. She looks very sad. Bless her. After dating for 10 months. Everything. Wait, 10 months? A soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think. Oh, so they dated for 10 months then. Two and a half years. Still, it's not that long, is it? When you love someone, you love them. Their marriage was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. Damn asthma. Something so quick just took him. That's so sad. The day my life fell apart. <laughs> oh, baby, I miss you. Uh, from a filming perspective, um, did they catch that on camera? Or was it just fake? I don't know. Her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. Here it comes. Here, here, here it comes. And I didn't want to wipe wipe them off because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um. Always wipe your dead husband away. Always. So I just. Licked it off my fingers. Jesus Christ! Just put that shit in a napkin! Even he's looking down at you now like, Babe! <laughs> Stop eating me! Stop it! And here I am today, almost two months later, and I can't stop. You're gonna have to, because there's only so much of your cremated husband in that box, and eventually, like all things like popcorn, crisps, and other normal things you eat, it's gonna run out. Oh no, 
I always go into these things hoping the title isn't real, that it's clickbait. I'm eating my husband. Oh, jumping Christ on a stick. <laughs> What's she gonna do when it runs out? You can't just go on Amazon. Yes, yeah, hi. Uh, do you have any, like, dead people I could eat? <laughs> First, I like my finger. Yep. And I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. That's a dead man on her finger. That is a whole dead man on her finger. Good. And then I just eat it. Oh, shit! I'm actually trying not to gag. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <coughs> Fuck. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, my eyes are sweating. They're actually sweating. It tastes like... DEAD PEOPLE! THAT'S WHAT IT TASTES LIKE, WOMAN! I just rage ate a Pringle. This has never happened before. Rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. They go to a builder's yard and lick some cement. Don't spit food, Daz. Don't eat people! Fuck! I don't care how much you miss someone or miss them being inside you. <laughs> but don't eat them! Stop eating people today! It started as not wanting to. Get rid no, it started as you choosing to keep your husband's ashes in a PS3. That's not an urn, that's a post box. Your husband's not gonna be happy with you eating him and all and keeping him in that. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. It's not an exercise DVD, is it? Hi there, my name's Tony. Wanna lose weight? Fed up with those big thighs? Kill your husband and eat him! <laughs> No! <laughs> no! No! There's, there's no good in this. You can't... I bet there is actually a lot of people out there that hated this video until she said that. There's a lot of ladies out there but thinking, oh, but she has lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his ashes. Casey eats her husband's ashes five to six times a day. You can't just pop down to the grocery store, love. Buy yourself a... Dead ass husband in a jiffy bag. When I open up the urn, I get open up the urn, bitches got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Sorry, TikTok, TikTok started to me. Happiness, it's like an adrenaline rush for me. The more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. Where did I put it? I've just moved house, things are all over the place. One second, I'll find it. Bob, where is it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, here it is. <sighs> <sighs> Much better. <laughs> then, a few minutes later, I feel horrible because I did it. Yeah. I think she, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, she needs to go and see someone and talk to someone and stop eating his ashes. Just someone in her life needs to confront her and say, look, enough, all right? Stop smearing your husband on crackers and go and get help. When I got Sean back from the crematory, he weighed six pounds. He is closer to five pounds now, so I have- He's losing weight as well. Jesus Christ. That's hard. I'm eating my husband. Yeah. No shit, honey. Oh, God. And every time she eats it, I wonder psychologically, like, what that does to the brain. It must make her problems and issues harder. Damn, my office looks good. Have you seen this shit? Look at it. God, I love it. Very few people know that Casey is eating her husband's ashes. It's on the internet now. It's got millions of views. Oh, man. Man alive. I, f I genuinely... Like I say, all jokes aside, I feel really bad for this woman. Like, someone needs to just step in. Don't let her come on a television show. Get help! But can Casey quit her addiction to eating her husband's ashes? Can her family stop her before it's too late? It's not a game show. Tune in next week to see how much ashes she has left. Like, this shouldn't even be in a TV show. This woman should just be getting help. 
She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin Stephanie and ask for help. Is Stephanie a psychiatrist? Because if she isn't, don't tell anyone else. I've been eating his ashes. Yep, that's the look. That is the look where you have lost touch with your cousin. That'll do it. Wow. Like <laughs> that face, you know, that this face when someone goes. <laughs> That's the, I don't know what to say, but I have to stop talking to you face. And I don't know how to say it. He'll always be a part of me mm -hmm. because... Because you're seasoning your bacon with him! God! I understand why Casey would feel as far as eating the ashes would bring her closer to him. I just don't, I don't understand that part. I don't Especially in traffic. I mean, you're not allowed, I, I get pulled over if I look at my phone, you know? Bitch is allowed to eat people in in the middle of the intersection. I don't get it. That was a lot. That was a, that was a lot to take in. I think I've said it about fifty thousand times through this video that the, that I feel very bad for her and she just needs to go and get help. I really hope that she gets all the help she needs. If, if you guys know what, what happened to her and if she managed to stop, guys, thank you so much for suggesting this video. I hope you know the office. Let me know if you want to see an office setup tour. I'm nearly done. Like, love, caress my channel. Don't eat it. Just touch it. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay dazzling. <laughs>